Hi, welcome to Glow at Home. My name is Jasmine Mendiola. I'm a work from home, homeschooling mom. Um, we live in the Philippines and um, it was her first time to homeschool throughout this pandemic. Um, we're in our last quarter. I'm homeschooling a five-year-old kindergarten and this is our current feast. So we're um, our flavor is uh, Charlotte Mason kind of homeschooling and um, I also have another video on how I taught my daughter how to read so today I'm going to do a video on our kindergarten book selection okay so I'm going to start off with um, character education so that's our usually what we call the values education um, we're a Catholic family we try to do more secular stuff um, and be more inclusive about it so but we still want those values intact our Christian upbringing one of a lot of the books that um, we got are from the book list provided by our homeschooling provider living learning homeschool so we started out at first, this is the only thing that I read to my daughter, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Um, our school year started in July, and then I think we were done with this in September. So it was just one story a day, and she loved Bible stories. Okay. Um, slowly, I started um, reading to her. I don't know which one was first, but um, so these are published by. Um, the library of living learning homeschool so it's our living learning library is what they call it but um, these are available free online I will link the free sources if you're comfortable reading them on an e-reader so this is um, Treadwell and Freeze the primer reading literature first reader um, at some point she was able to catch up already because it's the, the text is very repetitive um, I got impatient because she got lazy reading so um, I saw this on Shopee <laughs> it's teach your child to read and um, not even halfway through um, the guidance in reading uh, phonetics phonetically really really helped her and after that it was it was really easy um, every day her bedtime during nap or even in the evening she'd be reading a biography book so we have um, several, I think we have about eight titles of these Tahanan books by Ambeth Ocampo. Um, I'm not sure if everything is written by Ambeth Ocampo. So these books took her longer to read. So she would close them when she's sleepy already. But she went through all of these. These are our national heroes. So these are her living stories. And then um, we also have about 27 of these little people big dreams and uh, she finished all of them already um, and then she keeps wanting to read them again and again and again so these were very beautiful living books that she read um, what else she has also already successfully finished reading um, the seven little sisters who Live on a Round Ball That Floats in the Air by Jane Andrews. Another another title, another um, book version published by our homeschooling provider but also available in free sources online. So, so we love this one. Uh, she was really able to play and pretend, um, pretend that uh, she knows the seven little sisters around the world like the Eskimo, the little brown baby, and then the girl on the mountain. In Storyland, it's a series of different, different stories by Elizabeth Harrison. So she finished this one. Hey, she's, she's just about to finish this one. Um, what else? Uh, we also, one of her favorites is this one. And then, I, oh, she's done. She's done with it already. So these are Nature Stories for Young Readers by Florence Boss. So we're going to move on to another um, natural history. Um, book but when she wants to get experimental or when we want her to get busy she pulls out um, she opens this 365 science activities US born activity book and then um, she just 
you just help her prepare the materials and then she does it by herself already. Um, I start off the day, my, my morning time, with asking her what the date is today, what day is it of the week, what the weather is like. And um, I read the passage for the day from this devotion book. So there's a, there's a verse and then uh, we try to memorize that verse. And then I read the reading and then she reads the prayer in the end. Um, so we're done with those. Since we're done with the Jesus Storybook Bibles, I think I took about five months before reintroducing the Bible to her. Um, but now we're going through the Children's Illustrated Bible. So it's just, it's just really more of a picture book um, for her. Um, and then... And then... Um, just this year, January, at the start of the year, January 1, Story of Creation, when we started the Bible again, um, we also started reading A Child's History of the World by Virgil M. Hillier to kick off her history lessons because um, in grade 1, she will have to go through history already. <laughs> the Book of Virtues is something that I pull up when I, I, I want to do a read aloud. Um, we haven't really gone through a lot of this because she thoroughly enjoys um, Robert Louis Stevenson's A Child's Garden of Verses. So she says this is her favorite book. So there, so I think I'm done with our book selection. Um, I'm going to do another video on um, the curriculum that worked for us for kindergarten and I also have a grade to this school year. I'll be talking about her own book selection and um, a curriculum review of what worked for us for school year 2020 to 2021 aka the COVID-19 school year. So I hope um, I hope this helps you um, put together your own um, your own homeschooling curriculum. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. It's, it's, a, it's a very tedious but a very rich, enriching experience for me. That's why I wanted to share them with you. Let me know what you think and um, I will I will link whatever I can link in the description box. Please like and subscribe so that I can turn out more content for you. Help a mom out. <laughs> okay, bye!